Thursday, we'll see the first high-level meeting between leading Chinese officials and U.S. officials since Joe Biden took office. Despite all the challenges, Zhao Hai, a research fellow from Chinese Academy of Social Sciences, says he's positive about the meeting. Uh, it's just like uh, you know, two friends. When you stop talking for a long time, uh, you, you're flying blind basically, and you, you could uh, misinterpret each other's intentions. As we know, this bilateral relation continued to deteriorate during the late Trump administration. From kicking journalists out of each other's country to the damaging trade war and frictions over the pandemic. In Zhao's view, former U.S. President Donald Trump's policy towards China was unsustainable. Zhao says he's now interested in how much of a difference Biden's approach can make. I think uh, President Biden and his administration has made it quite clear that uh, they wanted to maintain a competition relationship with China, e even though that competition could be so-called stiff. Uh, however, they don't see that this bilateral relationship as, at this moment, adversarial, and they have insisted that they don't want to go into a new Cold War. Before any details of the meetings go public, experts say getting the relationship back on track will be tough. But it's hoped that Beijing and Washington both can move forward and develop a clearer picture for what they both expect from future negotiations. Liu Daxing, CGTN, Beijing.